There are, of course, a lot of iconic American traditions for celebrating July 4th, like eating ice cream, barbecues, fireworks, watching us. But perhaps the most patriotic is, of course, displaying the American flag. As part of our Proud American series, joining us now, Al Ummer, owner of the National Capital Flag Company, who actually makes American flags right here in Washington. Al, great to see you. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thank you very much. We have some pictures to show of your company and where they make American flags. It wasn't too long ago that oh, there was a huge number of American flags that were made not in, not in America, but made in China. That's correct. Are you seeing a real demand for American-made American flags? Nothing but. The first thing a customer will ask when they come in is, where was this flag made? Boxes are all stamped with it. Um, it, it it's just such a symbol, and it's such, there's such pride with it. And especially you see a young couple come in, they've just purchased their first house. They want to buy a flag to put out front. That's just a, it's, it's a, it's a very good feeling to be able to help them. Well, I, I can imagine that this poll caught our eye, and it's worth talking about on July 4th. Are you proud of the country today? Recent Fox News polling, 51% said yes, 45% said no. And it's difficult in any of these polls to sort of separate the patriotism from the politics sometimes. Give us, though, a sense of sales trends, which could probably tell us whether we're proud of the country. People still buying flags in the same numbers? They are. Of course, nothing compares to after 9-11. But, but since then, there's been a steady, uh, a steady replacement of flags. Uh, a lot of people that didn't have flags purchased them after 9-11, and they've been keeping them up. So as they wear out, they'll, they'll, they'll destroy them and come in and buy new ones. So is, is there a difference now in, in how flags are made than how they were made in the 50s, 60s, 70s? It hasn't changed much since since the 70s, 60s and 70s. The uh, the larger factories have the striping machines, and they they literally run the, the stripes. They call them longs and shorts, the ones below the canton and the ones alongside the canton. And then there are huge just warehouses full of of embroidery machines that make the stars. All right. So we were Fox Facts before 1912, arrangement of the stars varied according to the flag maker's preferences. Now it's all set, right? It is. All right. And 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 so you you have the set. You have the set American flag. What kind of sizes are we talking about here? Well, the commercial sizes, uh, two by three, two and a half by four, three by five, four by six. You don't get much bigger than that on a home. Some of the, 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 the larger flags will be for, for uh, businesses and, and large office complexes, used car lots. Yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw something about a, a 30, to 30 by 50 flag, something like that. 30 by 50, and they also make a 30 by 60, but you need a 150-foot flagpole to fly <laughs> that from. That's a, that's, a, that's a very big flagpole. Give us a sense of your company, mostly uh, made in America, American flags, or are you guys doing a lot of other stuff? We do a lot of other stuff, but everything's made in America. We, uh, the U.S. flags that we purchase are all made in America. The, uh, what we do right here in Alexandria, we work a lot with the government offices, the military. We do a lot, a lot of uh, guide-ons and military flags, government flags, as well as, as uh, custom flags for businesses. Well, I, I can imagine Memorial Day in July 4th is like your guys' Super Bowl at a flag company. So we appreciate you taking some time to talk to us. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thanks. All the best, Al.